Okay, so I've noticed something that has bothered me enough to actually make a video about it. Um, recently, I've seen a lot of people throwing around the word regressive, and most of the time I've noticed it is used uh, more like an insult in the same way that Fox News would call Obama uh, like an extreme liberal as an insult, uh, which liberals know is a stupid thing to try and call him as an insult because it doesn't fit. Uh, as a liberal, you know that Obama is not like an extreme liberal or anything like that. Uh, now, that isn't to say that liberal and uh, regressive aren't words that can't be used or that there aren't actually liberals or regressives out there, but rather that it takes the bite out of the insult when the word is thrown around as haphazardly as I've seen it being thrown around. Uh, for example, when you call college students who want safe spaces and want to restrict what people can say and uh, want to tell you uh, how many black people need to be on the staff at, at s the said college or university, that is regressive. However, I have to think twice when someone uses that word as it's been used to, des uh, to describe me. I wonder if Coctopus is in here. If he is, I'll ban him. Because he's a regressive. Because uh, yes, I've been called a regressive a few times, uh, with no citations given to show why, and it seems to be used strictly as an insult rather than as a correctly applied label. Now, I've also noticed that the same people who throw around the word regressive to describe anyone they don't like tend to be the same people who claim if anyone uses the word racist, they are trying to end the conversation. This is usually followed by being called a racist, a bigot, a sexist, a cultist. And feel free to insert your favorite trigger word here. This usually eliminates any further discourse on the issue at hand. They don't seem to think that them calling everyone a regressive does the same thing, though. Uh, if someone is called a racist, these people immediately demand an apology, uh, something you would expect from an SJW, not someone who calls SJWs out for the same type of behavior. And they use that against him to eliminate further discourse by calling him a racist. Me and you, Vadim, this can be reversed as I don't hold grudges against no one. It's time for you to man up. It's time for other people to man up and apologize to AIU. And maybe people that are against you like me will accept your wrongdoings. I'm prepared to do so. You need to take the first step in apologizing. Now, laughingly, I've also been called an SJW in the comments of a video of mine where I called someone else retarded. No, no shit. I mean, that's how little these, these words or, or have, you know, they're just insults. They're just things you throw at people. They don't have to make any sense, right? Uh, now, I also have friends who have now jumped on this regressive bandwagon and they want to go around calling everyone regressive that, that doesn't totally agree with them. On how the regressive leftists, regressive leftists, and we have regressives out there. Hello, regressive leftists from these regressives. By the regressive leftists, regressive mindset, and regressive leftists, by these regressives, fucking regressive, regressive leftists. Um, I've actually had one friend who's taken the time to retweet tweets that call me a regressive or or uh, other tweets they retweeted that call me a crybaby for simply pointing out in a YouTube comment that the word is often misused and misapplied and that people have called me it and that I didn't lose any sleep over it because people don't seem to even know what the fuck it means. I've heard a few different definitions given of the word regressive. Uh, the dictionary definition is becoming less advanced or returning to a former or less developed state. But online, I've also heard it described as uh, progressives who want to take things back to the way they used to be. Uh, but neither of those definitions sound like they describe me. So me being called a regressive by somebody pretty much nullifies the insult when they use it on anybody else. Uh, if you've got a definition of the word regressive that you think everyone can agree on, please feel free to let me know in a comment on this video. Now, while there are definitely plenty of people I can totally understand giving the regressive label, it seems that anybody being too nuanced or too skeptical is considered to be a regressive by those who are hell-bent on having everyone agree with them on every little thing. For example, 
if a person doesn't just say fuck Islam over and over, then apparently they are an Islamic apologist, even though they have never apologized for any of the actions committed in the name of Islam. Hey YouTube, in light of one of my recent videos, I've been informed of some pretty darn important news, and golly do I ever have egg on my face for not realizing this sooner. You see, it turns out that if you don't publicly, loudly, and obnoxiously condemn an action, that implies that you must actually support that action. If you happen to share a demographic with the person or people committing that action, the obligation for you to make it clear to the world that you condemn that action is doubly important, lest the world be justified in concluding that you're just as guilty, or at least equally apt to commit the same action as he, she, or they who committed the atrocity in question. Ironically, the same people that call others apologists are the first to demand apologies when they feel they have been slighted, and go on to call anyone who won't give said apologies a regressive. And end the conversation. Good job. Uh, we're talking about people who shit on feminists, and rightly so, for forcing people to agree with every little thing, and then they turn around and call you a regressive if you don't agree with them on every little thing. Uh, in any case, I just wanted to say that I've noticed this trend of right-leaning, Trump-loving, Muslim-hating, regressive-calling, apology-demanding, drama-loving, internet tribalist, echo chamber idiots, and I think it's bullshit. I'm not impressed. Now, unlike some other people, I don't treat my channel like a, a living room or online safe space. You are free to disagree, rate, leave comments, talk with each other, call me an idiot, an asshole, a regressive, which would be pretty ironic uh, considering what this video is fucking about, but I won't block you unless you're spamming, or, or if you're some asshole that can only survive in the echo chamber you call your YouTube channel, in which case, go the fuck back there. Lastly, I don't feel like I'm owed an apology for being called a regressive or anything, but, but maybe we should ask Joe, otherwise known as Live Life. Uh, since he's apparently in charge of internet apologies now. Until next time, Coctopus out.